Hello everyone, big game out here. This is my Xbox One slash Xbox Series X collection video. So I've added a lot of games since the last one. Uh, I believe it's 283 games here, so we're not far off the 300 mark. So yeah, we've added quite a lot this year. So we're gonna go through them in alphabetical order. Obviously this is my physical copies. I do own a lot of digital games, but yeah, I think there's around about 900 digital games I own as well. So, but yeah, this is just a physical. So let's get into this. They're in alphabetical order. I'll say 283 games. It's going to take a long time. Right. So starting off with 1111 Memories Retold. 8 to Glory. I find somewhere to stand all this stuff. You, you don't understand how much there is around me. Piles and piles. Nine monkeys of Shaolin. Oh, I've got nowhere really to put them. Uh, first of, I believe I've got 19 OG games here. So, outright games, we have got Adam's Family, Mansion Mayhem. When I started, just not finished it yet. Got Adventure Time, Pirates of the Entridon. Whatever it says, there you go. Adventure time. Alan Wake remastered, so I bought this because I wanted to play it and it's still sealed. Alekine's Gun. I say so. Another one I bought literally on release and not played yet is Alex Kidd. In Miracle World DX. So yeah, it's got some weight in there, so it's probably got some stuff in it. So I should play that one day. Airy and the Secret Seasons. Secrets of Seasons. Got Assassin's Creed Unity. Assetto Cors Corsa. Asterix and Oblix. Slap them up. To be a fun little beat em up game, now I should play that eventually. We've got uh, Asterix and Oblix XXL Row Mastered, Asterix and Oblix XXL 2, and Asterix and Oblix XXL 3 The Crystal Men Here, got ATV Renegade. Avicii Invector, Invector. We've got Telltale Games here, Back to the Future, the game. Barger, Edge of Control, HD. Batman, the Arkham Collection. Batman, the Enemy Within. Of a Telltale game series. We've got Battle Chasers, Night War. A lovely still book here. This is Bayonetta and Vanquish, the 10th anniversary bundle launch edition. We've got Beast Quest. B Simulator, should play that really, it's meant to be quite fun. Another OG game, a really early one with the OG symbol like that, it's Ben 10. Bendy and the Ink Machine, should get back to finishing that, it's quite a good game that. We've got Black Mirror. Bleeding Edge. The Book of Unwritten Tales 2. Borderland, the handsome edition with the pre-sequel and Borderlands 2 on it. We've got Bounty Battle. Absolute great game this, brothers. Completed it on the PlayStation, I need to do the Xbox One for the achievements. Got another steelbook here, we have got 
Call of Duty Infinite War Legacy Pro Edition. It's a very nice little slip cover there. It's got two games on it. I don't know if you actually get the uh, Modern Warfare Remastered or not, or whether it was a, a download code that's disappeared now. Find out at some stage. We've got Cars Free, Driven to Win. Cartoon Network Battle Crashers. Close to the Sun. Cloud Punk. Code Vein. Seemed to be quite a good game that. I should play that sooner rather than later. Commandos 2 and Patreons, Patreons, HD Remaster, a couple of strategy games, I do like my strategy games, got Contra, Rogue Corpse, Control, one I do need to play, Crackdown 3, <clears throat> another outright games, we have got Crayola Scoot, Next up we've got The Crew, need to play the new one, what's that? We've got The Crew 2, is it The Crew 3 what's out now? I believe so. We've got Cuphead, so yeah, this one is uh, one I need to play. Got some little uh, cards in there with my uh, number on it, because they're numbered. This was 1932, but yeah. I opened this up and intended to play it and never did, so uh, that's one that needs to get played. We've got one little slip cover it. Cyberpunk, I believe that this is playable now. <laughs> I played it when it first came out because that's my brother's copy, what I bought off him. And uh, yeah, it was a horrible, horrible mess. So let's dig into the next pile. We'll get a few out first. Got Darker. 18, D Dakar, whatever you want to call it. We've got Drone, so DCL game, DCL the game, which is Drone Championship League. Champions League, I'll get these right one day. Drone Champions League. Got Dead or Alive, round five. Oh well, Dead or Alive five, the last round, shall I say. And then we've got the blob. Right, let's move these over so I can get somewhere to put them. In fact, let me just pull these forward. I didn't realise how far off the edge of the table I'd put them. <laughs> I'm surprised they didn't fall off. Right, we've got the blob two. Dead Rising three. I played a bit of the first Dead Rising and uh, I quite enjoyed it. So I should carry on and play these ones. Because we've got Dead Rising 4 as well. We've got Desperados 3. Destiny. Yep, don't worry, that wasn't one night I'll pay for that. That was a freebie from somewhere. I can't remember where that came from, but it was free. We've got Dukes, Mankind Divided. Or Deus Ex, whatever you want to call it. Dirt Rally, I need to finish this. I started this on uh, Game Pass. Never got around to finishing it. We've got Disney Classics here. Disney Classic Games. Aladdin and the Lion King. Doctor Who. The Edge of Reality and the Lonely Assassins. I bought this because there are a couple of hours to complete each game. 2,000 gamer score on there. And yeah. Not played it yet. Got Doom Eternal. One of my recent pickups is Dreamfall Chapters. A couple of outright games coming up here. We've got Dragons or Dream DreamWorks Dragons: Dawn of New Riders and DreamWorks Dragons: Legends of the Ninth Realm. 
then we've got Dungeons 3 again this has got some weight to it one day I'll open it and find out what's in it we've got Empire of Sin the day one edition we've got Epic Chef which is still sealed we've got Escape board game or escape game Fault Beyond I don't know where I find most of these games. <laughs> Got the Escapists 1 and 2. The Escapist, The Walking Dead Edition. Everspace. The Stellar Edition. Evolve. Extinction. Alright, now we're hitting the F1 game. So first up we've got F1 2015. <clears throat> F1 2016. F1 2017. F1 2018 in a lovely stick cover. F1 2019. And F1 2020. There is 21, 22 and 23 out now, I believe. Just, I think they're still on Game Pass, so I'm involved picking them up. They're still a bit pricey. I'll wait for them to drop. All right, then we've got a Fade to Silence. The Falconeer, the Day 1 Edition. Far Cry 4, Limited Edition. Far Cry 5. We'll add some right underneath, but it's just some stars. Far Cry New Dawn. Fast and Furious Crossroads. Right. Then we're on to the FIFA games. So we've got FIFA 14. FIFA 15. FIFA 16. FIFA 17. FIFA 18, FIFA 19, I do like FIFA 19, had a really good ultimate team on that, and FIFA 20, and FIFA 21, and obviously with the franchise finishing it I still need to get FIFA 22 and 23, and then it changed name, so there's only two more to get in the FIFA selection. Alright, next up we have got Firefighters, the simulation. Flashback Classics, Volume 1. Flashback Classics, Volume 2. So these are pretty good. They've got loads of games. This one's got 50 games on it. I think the other one's got 50 games on it as well. So yeah, 100 games there. They probably cost you about a tenner for the two. And we've got Flat Out 4, Total Insanity. Do you like me racing games? Foreclosed. Don't really know much about it, it was just cheap from the game collection, so I picked it up. Right, so we've got Forza Horizon 3. So yeah, I am missing 2, 4 and 5 now. I've only got 3 at the moment. Right, then we've got Forza Motorsport 5. Forza Motorsport 6. And Forza Motorsport 7. A really nice slip cover, and they've just put out Forza Motorsport uh, 8 on Game Pass, so I should really give that a go. But yeah, I do really like the look at that, even on the back, it's just got the Forza sign on it. There you go. And we've got Frostpunk. All right, I have to cut to this massive pile up here now. All right, so we have got Garfield, Garfield Kart Furious Racing. And yeah, this does get you furious. I still need to finish this. I just can't do the last couple of achievements. They're really odd. We've got Gears of War, the ultimate edition. So that's just a remark, remake of the first game. We've got Gears of War 4. Another outright game here. We've got 
Gigantosaurus, the game. Now, I played the cart game. Furs and G'd it, moved it on. And uh, it was easy as anything, so hopefully this one is as well. Got another still book here. We've got special edition of Gotham Knights. And I do like this still book. I'll just show you this one quickly. Because we're losing all the leaflets out of it. Let me uh, just pick them up before I forget them. One of them's a manual, I think. But yeah, I do like the look of that. One of the better ones. I'll have to do a video just showing all my still books. Let me know what you think. If that's worth it. I've got quite a few. All right, we've got Gravel. Meant to be an absolutely great racing game. Need to get around to playing it. We've got Greek. Memories of Azura. Azaru. I don't know. Whatever it says. Grid, the day one edition, still sealed. Grip. Family fun pack. So you've got four games on this. You've got Boggle, Trivial Pursuit Live, Monopoly Plus and Risk. I think I've already completed Monopoly Plus because I think it was on another compilation I had for it. Which I moved on because I finished, so I may have already got the achievements on that one. Then we've got Poco Life. Looks like a fun little farming style game. A little bit like Animal Crossing. Next we've got uh, Homefront The Revolution. Hot Wheels Unleashed. I am two achievements away from beating this game as well and I just can't do them. They're really hard. One of them is for getting every achievement on the game, so it's literally one that's doing all the time trials before the completed time, and I just... I should get around to playing it again, learn all the shortcuts, and actually beat this game. I'll do it one day. All right, another OG game. We have got Hotel Transylvania. Uh, what's this one? Monsters, Monsters Overboard. The reason why I'm asking that is because you haven't also got a Hotel Transylvania game here. This is Scary Tower Adventures. Right, and we've got oh, Human Falls Flat. So this is on Game Pass, but I love the game so much. I picked up a physical copy of it uh, a while back just to have a copy of it if it ever left Game Pass. All right, then we've got Ice Age. Is it Ice Age 4? No, Ice Age Skets. Scrats Nutty Adventure. Oh, it's an outright game. There you go. <laughs> Need to beat that one as well. Should be easy. Most of these outright games are. Right, then we've got Jagged Alliance, or Rage. Another outright game, we've got Jumanji, with a remake on it there, with a rock. Uh, we've got Jurassic World Evolution. Another still book, we've got Just Cause 4. I do like these still books. If there's any still books I'm missing, let me know. Let me know down in the comments. Right, we've got Just Sing. I do like the singing games. Me and Cass sit here over an evening and play some of them now and again. Uh, just Die Already, I bought this ages ago. I wanted to play it and never did. <laughs> uh, we've got Kiwi, which I think you need to have a second player for. Or to play online as well. No, you can play it single player, but I think it's more fun if you have two of you. Basically running a post office. Uh, we've got Kingdom Hearts 3, this one, Kingdom Hearts 3. We've got Last Kids on Earth, another outright games, but apparently this one's meant to be a bit longer and a bit more fun. And a bit more challenging. Last Stand, Aftermath. Le Tour de France. Batman 3, Beyond Gotham. Now I've got a load of these Lego games like this which are still sealed. So first up we've got the DC Super Villains. In these lovely big boxes, I think you get a little figure. Yep, this one you get a 
miniature figure of Lex Lex Luthor. So there. Dressed up as Superman for some reason. All right, then we've got the Harry Potter collection. So this is two games in one. You've got years one to four, is it? Yeah, one to four and five to six, which is uh, five to seven, which is basically a remaster of the ones on the 360. A lot of these you can get on the 360. We've got Lego Jurassic World. You can get that one on the 360. And you can get all three of these games, I believe, on the 360. We've got the Marvel collection with superheroes, Avengers. Oh, it's got superheroes two on it. That's uh. That one's not on the 360. Alright, I've got a couple of these movie ones. So these are double packs. So they come with the game and a Blu-ray of the movie. So this is the Lego Movie Lego Movie 2 video game and movie. And then I have a play and watch game of Lego Ninjago. Again, with the game and the Blu-ray. They're pretty good. I got them when they was in Argos for quite cheap. They were selling them off. So yeah, that was a good bargain there. Right, then we've got Lego Star Wars, The Force Awakens. We've got Lords of the Fallen. Another great steel book here. I think the game's meant to be good as well. Got Mad Max. Oh, this one, this one's a great one. Oh, make sure I don't draw if you have it, but it's got the car, look at that. The Mad Max car. A couple of DLC things in there, I don't know if they still work, but we'll keep them just in case. And yeah, so that, that's a nice one, that is. Oh, one of the DLC things is full out. How's it fell out of that side? <laughs> Just realised that, it's come out the side that don't open. Alright, so that is the Ripper edition. Then we've got Mafia Trilogy. So I bought this sealed because it was cheaper than CEX open price. We have got Man Eater. And I've just realised we've uh, messed up a little bit here. How have we managed that? Let me uh, swap them about. How has this happened? I've got some more L's over here. <laughs> got another Lego game. Right. So I don't know how this has happened, but we've got Lego Under City in a nice slip cover. Undercover, should I say? Lego Undercover. So that should have gone there. We've got Lego Worlds. We've got Let's Sing Ava. Or Let's Sing Presents Ava. Should play that. I bought that because it was a quick and easy completion. And I do like Ava. We have got Life is Strange. Now, I played that. That was quite good. I need to get back to finishing it. Because uh, I've got the second one to play as well. Life is Strange 2. Then we've got Locks Quest. And then these should go on there. All right. So yeah, all right, we've got it back now. <laughs> right. <laughs> Sorry for that little bit of confusion. All right. Next up we have Mega Drive, the classic collection or classics. There you go, Mega Drive classics. Metal Gear Solid 5, ground zero. Micro Machines World Series. Monopoly Madness, which is what I'm playing at the moment. I think I'm about two, 200 game score away from completing it. So uh, this probably won't be in the next collection video see because when I finish my games, I get rid of them unless they're ones that are worth playing over and over. Most of them ain't. All right, then we've got the Monsters Energy Supercross 5 Championship. The official video game. Try saying that when you've had a few drinks. All right, next we have got Monster Jam. This is Crush It. Then we have Monster Jam Steel Titans. 
Monster Truck Championship. Should be quite fun, that. Need to give that one a go. Mother Gunship. Moto GP 15. Need to pause this in a minute and make a clear mid table, I think. Moto GP 18. We finish M and then we're. Uh, have a little jump cut. Got Moto GP 19. Moving out. Mud Runner. So I do have the DLC version of this because basically CEX messed up and they gave me the DLC version and I uh, installed it, took it back, and now I've just got the normal game in there. But I have the DLC on the computer, so uh, on the Xbox. So I basically saved myself a few quid by getting the DLC for free. <laughs> right, then we've got Murdered Soul Suspect. MX ATV, all out. MX versus ATV, Supercross Encore. MX versus GP, no, MX GP Pro. I'll get this right one day. And my time in Porter is the last game of M, so we're going to have a little jump cut here. I'm going to clear this because there's another pile of the same size of it over there that we need to get through. So we're about halfway through, which is good. Right, see you in a second. Right, we are back and more organised. I can show you everything what's left now. So... All right, we're on to the ends. So we have got NBA Live 14. This was like 50p in a charity show or something, so I just picked up because it was really cheap. We've got Need for Speed again. This was a charity shop find. It was on Game Pass at the time, but I couldn't turn it down. Never Winter Nights. The Enchant en Enhanced Edition. I mean, you can't really tell much from that cover, but I'm guessing it's some sort of horror game. Nickelodeon Kart Racers 2 Grand Prix. <clears throat> no straight roads. So this is like some sort of ribbon game. I need to give this a go. I bought it absolutely ages ago in the game collection. Just never got around to playing it. Next we've got... Now, that's what I call Sing. So of course, had to get, now that's what I call Sing 2. Then we've got Olympic Games Tokyo 2020, the official video game. Intrigue me them sort of games. Right, One Piece, this is Burning Blood. I like the anime, so. Surely the game will be all right, although I'm not really a fan of fires, but you never know. It might be good, it might be good. And On Rush, Day 1 Edition. Another great racing game I've not played yet. Right, then we've got our first big, big box. So this was in the game collection. Not the game, this was in game. And it was in there three for two. They had the normal one on the shelf, and I think it was Paul that said to me, you should grab that because it's normally in the big box. And when I went to the counter with my three games, this was labelled out as a tenner. I had two more games for a tenner or nine ninety nine. So knock a third off of that. You're looking at what six pounds sixty six. We have got Ori and the Will of the Wisps in a big box edition. So it's not being opened because I've played the game on Game Pass, and I just thought this was a nice little collector's box set just to. Have on display, you don't really get many collector's editions for the Xbox One or the Series X. So, uh, yeah, I thought, you know what, let's, uh, let's grab it, especially for £6.66. It was going for like 50 or 60 quid on eBay at the time. Right, next up we have got Outward Day 1 Edition. Got a lot of Day 1 Editions, ain't I? Past Cure, Pathfinder, Wrath of the Righteous, 
great game here. We've got a OG game. Poor Patrol on a roll. Mm. Love a good Paw Patrol game. That's the only one that I've not played and completed yet. I've completed the other three. Right, then we've got the Persistence. Pillars of Eternity 2 Dead Fire Ultimate Edition. And we've got Ken Followers, the Pillars of the Earth. Pixark, it's like a uh, Minecraft style game. <laughs> Another outright games here, we have got PJ Moss Heroes of the Night. Uh, I only got this because it's got a nice little slip cover. <laughs> and that is Pez 2016. I think this was like 50p in CEX on one of my charity shop hunts. And I thought, you know what, with that nice slip cover, I'll grab it. I wouldn't normally. We've got Professor Rubik's Brain Fitness. So I do like these brainy puzzle games. They're quite fun. Right, we've got Project Cars. Project Cars 2. And Project Cars 3. So yeah, when I get on to play in the series, I can play all three of them in order. Because I've got them all here lined up. Not sure if there's a Project Cars 4 or not yet. Can't remember. Quantum Break. Now this is meant to be a really good game. And quite a short one. So I uh, should give that a go. I've been saying that for years. I found that off of watching Dad and Lads Gaming. Old Marcus showed it years ago. All right, Rabbids. Party of the Legends. Now I should play this one because the idea was I bought it cheap. So I could make a profit on credit before uh, it drops in price. So... Uh, and it's still sitting here. I should do that one. Well, we've got Red Rogers. This was a uh, Christmas present off Kaz last year. And it's still sealed. <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> we've got Rage 2. Railway Empire. The complete collection. So, I think there's about 2,500 gamer score on this to be, get, to be had. I think it's around about that anyway. Uh, my latest outright games what I've got in the Black Friday sale you would have seen in my pickups video just before Christmas. We've got the Rainbow High one, Runaway Rush or run, Runway Rush. And uh, yeah, this is one I should be completing and selling fast before uh, the price drops literally just come out. But uh, CEX don't take it, so this will have to be sold on eBay at the moment. But yeah, hopefully we'll uh, get that completed at some point. We've got Rare Replay. So this is one of the greatest games you can get on the Xbox. A lot of people buy an Xbox just for this game. Because this is the cheapest way of playing a lot of these games. You've got like, you got Conker's Bad Third Day on there. How much does that set you back on the N64? Or you can just pay a couple of quid. It's about three quid. Two or three quid. Get it on Rare Replay. Absolute bargain. Right, we've got The Raven. Remastered. Real Farm, for all your farming fans out there. Recore, I think that was recommended to me ages ago as well. I think I've had that for two or three years in the collection now. We've got Red Faction, Gor Gorilla is it supposed to be? Gorilla, so I think it says Gorilla. Remars, Remar dude. <laughs> We've got Red Out, the Light Speed Edition. Resident Evil 2, the remake of it. Should play these, these are meant to be pretty fun. I don't know if they're as good as the ones on the PS1, but yeah. And then we've got Resident Evil 3 as well, another remaster. And then we've got Resident Evil Village. In a lovely still book. So I think this is Resident Evil 7 if I remember correctly. Or is it 8? It's one of them. 7 or 8. Someone will, someone will put it down in the comments which one it is. Ride 2. For all your motorbike fans. 
and ride free. One I should be playing, Rhyme. I do like these style of games. It looks a little bit like um, Ico from the PS2. That sort of graphics. So yeah, it's meant to be quite a fun little game. And we've got Road Rage. Because yeah, everyone needs a bit of rage when they're riding around on their motorbike. <laughs> Right, let's move this next pile down here. We've got Rock Band 4 plus Rivals Expansions. I don't know if that's on the disc or whether you had a download code for it, but there is no code in here, so I'm hoping it's on the disc. And then we've got Rockets Rocket Arena, the Mythic Edition. Oh, just nearly knocked all the games flying. Maybe it wasn't a good idea to move these down here. Let me put them back out here for a second. <laughs> Makes it a bit easier to put them down. Right, we've got Ryan's Rescue Squad from OG Games. Look, there he is. Good old Ryan. Don't know what one's more creepy. The, the kid in the corner put his thumb up or the actual cartoon version of Ryan. But yeah, there he is. We've done Race with Ryan. Now we need to do Ryan Rescue Squad. <clears throat> we've got Rise, Son of Rome. This is a great game. I've been playing some of this. It's on Game Pass. Got some codes in here, I don't know if they work, I'll have to give them a try. But yeah, I haven't played this version of that, I've only played it through Game Pass. We've got Samurai Showdown. So again, it's a fighting game, picked it up cheap. Uh, we've got Shadow of War. So Middle Middle Evil Middle Evil Medieval Earth. Shadow of War, I'll get it right one day. And I had the I had a sealed version of this. <clears throat> and I got rid of it for this one because, look at that, I think this was only like two or three quid in CEX. So, to get that sort of steelbook for that price, you can't really go wrong. So, uh, <clears throat> yeah, when I see that in there, I grabbed it. We've got Shadow Warrior. Shaq Fu. A Legend Reborn, I believe this is the one you can play with uh, Barack Obama on it. Oh yeah, here it is. Three additional... The So it's got the Bonus Foo Edition, or Bonus F.U. Edition. Which is the Barack Obama one. Comes free as additional content. Oh, absolute classic game here. We've got Shovel Knight. This is the Treasure Trove. Now I beat this on the PlayStation. I need to do it on the Xbox now. And uh, so far I've got one achievement on it, and it's a 0G achievement, so yeah. We haven't got any gamer score out of it, but we haven't got an achievement in it. Right, and we've got Sinmora EX. So this is a game I've owned on every system. And uh, yeah, I've picked it up for the Xbox now. And not played it yet, so... <laughs> Need to play that on the Xbox. Got Shrinking Cities. Has this got like some postcards or something, yeah. Oh, it's a map. Comes with, comes with a map. So, uh, yeah, I don't know if that's going to be like some sort of Grand Theft Auto style game or not, but it doesn't look like it from the back. It's more like a Sherlock, Sherlock Holmes detective one. Right, next up we have got a weird style game, this one. So this is the Sleeping Dogs Definitive Edition. So this one comes in <laughs> a book. So there you go, you get a book in it. It's got loads of pages. Look at some artwork as you flick through. But yeah, this this one was a bit of a strange one, but I only picked it up because I see it in this and I thought, I've not seen that before. I thought, is it a still book? I opened it up and it was like that, just a little book. And I thought, you know what? That's quirky, I'll grab it. <laughs> so yeah, we've got that in the collection for that reason. Sonic Colors Ultimate. Need to play this, not played it yet. I bought this like not too long ago and I love Sonic so I thought you know what I'll get it and give it a go and it just went on the shelf and I've not played it. <clears throat> Unlike this one here. So this is the Sonic Sonic Mania Plus so I've swapped it to the Mega Drive version. There is a there is just a Xbox One style cover which they basically put on it but I thought you know what Blue spine! So I've twitched it over for the old Mega Drive. And now I've got to get it back in. 
always great fun. So yeah, I do like games with reversible covers, especially when they're classics like a, a Mega Drive style blue spine. And I'll tell you what, the game, the game is hard as hell to try and get all the achievements, but yeah, there you go. Blue spine Mega Drive game. I've got a few out of it, but I don't think that's one I'm going to complete. Just for the uh, pure amount of hours I'd have to put into it to complete it. Right, next up we've got South Park The Fractured Butthole. Now, I need to play this again. Again, this is one I played on the PlayStation and beat. This is the deluxe edition, which includes special, uh, includes game and additional content. So, and apparently there's a free game included for the Stick of Truth. So I don't know if that's on the disc or not, because I've got no code if it was down as a code. But yeah, I had, the, I had it on the PlayStation. I swapped it over and got the Xbox version. Right, next we've got Sparklit. Sparklight, so some retro inspired game, so I thought, you know what, I'd grab that. We've got another <laughs> Outright Games game. We have got Spirit, or DreamWorks Spirits, Lit uh, Lucky's Big Adventure, and it had, had a horse on it, so I thought, you know what, let's grab it, two in one, an Outright game and a horse. Right, next one we've got, I don't actually know if this is a game in it, or whether this is just a download. But yeah, we have got Starlink. So I've not opened this yet. It's got all the little figures and stuff you need to play the game. And yeah, well, apparently there is a game in it. So it has got the game. Whether it's in a box, because I know a couple of them. I know the um, Nintendo Switch version is digital only of this. But I'm assuming that this has got an actual game in it then. One day I'll open it and play it and find out. But until then, yeah, there's no way. I thought you could open it on the front there, but it's not. It's only on the side, uh, only on the uh, bottom and top. But yeah, I don't think I showed this in my uh, last one because I think I left it on the shelf and forgot about it. So this time I'm actually showing it. So yeah, Starlink Battle for Atlantis. Now I need to get a few of the other little packs that you can get of all the <laughs> little vehicles and stuff. They look quite cool in there. They sell them pretty cheap normally. Right, two more big piles to go. Next up, we have got Star Wars Battlefront. Now, I like this game. I'm not one of these first-person shooter people that normally plays them sort of games, but I actually enjoyed this. And uh, yeah, I only got to, like, the second level of it. But, yeah, I played a bit of it on the uh, when it was on Game Pass. I think it might even still be on Game Pass. Ah, a game I do love. State of Decay 2. So this is sealed. Obviously, I've played it on Game Pass again. I've got about 400 gamers score of it. I think there's 2,000 on it now. So, yeah. But if you like your open world style zombie killing games, survival games, this is the one for you. All right, next we've got Steep. So this was a freebie, which was given to me from Rob, otherwise known as Fob. So I've not played it yet, Rob, but I've still got it. It's uh, steep. I said to him, price you got on that's a bit steep, and he goes, oh, you can have it for free then. <laughs> ba -dum -bum. Great jokes around here. All right, we've got Save the Light. So this is an outright game as well. It's not classed as an outright game on the front, but if you turn it around, it is developed by Outright Games, one of the publishers, I think. So... It does actually class as being on the Outright Games collection. So this is Steven Universe, Save the Light, and OKKO, OK Let's Play Heroes. I think it's only Save the Light that's part of the OG collection. I don't think, I think the reason why it's not on the front is because OKKO, OK Let's Play Heroes is not. I think that's how it is anyway. But when I play it, I'll find out. Uh, we've got Strange Brigade, Brig Brig Brigade, yeah, Brigade. Can't give me words out. Been talking for nearly an hour. Give me a, give me a break. Right next, we've got Stubbs the Zombie in Rebel Without a Pulse. So yeah, this is just a remake of the original Xbox game. Not even a 360 game. A remake of an actual. Original Xbox game, but they put some achievements on and re-released. 
and I've not played it yet. <laughs> All right, next we've got Sudden Strike 4, the complete collection. So again, I love a great strategy game. We've got Sunset Riders. Well, no, Sunset Overdrive, not Riders. Let me get this right. Sunset Overdrive, another great game. Played that, it's really weird. Played it on the Game Pass. Uh, Super Bobberman R, meant to be absolute garbage. Super Dungeon Bros. Played this with like four of us playing it and still can't get many achievements out of it, but it was a bit of fun what we played. Uh, we got The Survivalists, recommended to me by Paul Deak Northern. Uh, Tales from the Borderland, a Telltales game series. Another easy completion, just not done it yet. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, the Cowabunga Collection. Now, I love the Turtles games, and there is cheats to get the completion on this easy, but I'd rather play them all legit playing through. But uh, yeah, you can literally watch the gameplay all the way through to the final strike, and then jump in, land the final hit, and it classes you as beating the game. So, yeah. <laughs> if you want to cheat, cheat. Next, we've got Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Mutants in the... Manhattan. Temtem. Tem. So this is supposed to be a Pokemon style game. And as you can see, it's still sealed. And I paid quite a bit of money for this, so I should really play it. But I know once I start playing something like this, it's going to be uh, taking all my time. All right, got Tennis World Tour. Time on Frog Island. This is the police. Better watch out. And this is the police too. They're meant to be quite fun strategy games. Titan Quest. Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 1 and 2. Absolutely love the Tony Hawk's game. So this was a remake of 1 and 2 from the PlayStation era. And I've sunk quite a bit of time into that as well. So I bought that on release. Uh, then we've got Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 5, which I've not played yet. I only picked up recently. Uh, the Turn of Light. Looks like some weird horror style game, which does actually come with some... I don't know what they are. Little pictures, I suppose. Weird little things. But yeah, got some like photo style things on there. Quite creepy. So yeah, if you do pick this game up, make sure you do get the uh, little art card style things in it. Also, it comes with an actual manual as well. Don't see that very often with uh, Xbox One or Series X games. All right, then we've got Trackmania TM Turbo, which I think is supposed to be some sort of micro machine style game or Hot Wheels style game. Looks quite fun. Outright Games, Transformers Battlegrounds, meant to be absolutely awful. Trying for the Nightmare, the Nightmare Prince. It's a good job you don't come for me for pronunciations because you've got no chance here. We've got Trials Fusion. Another Outright Games, we've got another by DreamWorks. Troll Hunters, Defenders of Arcadia. Tire, the Tasmanian Tiger in HD. So I had this game back on the GameCube. Quite a, quite a little fun uh, platforming game. We've got UFC. Right, EA Sports. Right, let's just move this last pile. We're down to the last, like, 20-odd games here. We're getting there. Should just keep this video around the hour mark. We've got Ugly Dolls by Outright Games again. I think you've got to play like three or four playthroughs to actually beat the game. So that's what's put me off. We've got The Unicorn Princess, which I started playing and it was sending me to sleep. I've done this in my 24 hour charity stream and I've played this at like seven o'clock in the morning because I thought, oh, you know what, I'll play it then because no one's around. And yeah, it was so boring, it nearly sent me to sleep, and I've not gone back to it. 
unravels the yarn bundle so you get unravel one and unravel two we got v rally four another great racing game vampire the voice The Walking Dead, this is the final chapter, but this is a, a German version, hopefully it plays in English, because uh, I bought this pretty cheap from Amazon and uh, didn't actually read it, but this, this, <laughs> this is actually a German version, it's all in German other than the bit that says The Walking Dead on it, <laughs> even all the back, so hopefully the game plays in English, if anyone knows do let me know. Right, we've got a big box game next, we have got We Sing, so... I saw this in a charity shop. No, I see this in CEX, sorry, on their app. And I was hunting the shelves, thinking, where is it? It's not here on the Xbox One collection. So I set, went up to the counter and I said, look, I'm looking for this game. Have you got it? And they went, oh, yeah, it's behind the counter. It's, in a, it's got all the microphones with it in the big box. But because it's just sold as the game, they don't have the microphones involved. It come all complete with the microphones and the game, so... I think this was like three quid or something. Something ridiculous. Whatever the game sells for in CEX is what I paid for this big box. Like two or three quid. Absolute bargain. Right, then we've got The Witcher 3. Wild Hunt, the Game of the Year edition. I quite like The Witcher. I enjoyed that. Worms Battlegrounds, which is probably going to be as bad as all the other Battleground games. Wreckfest, absolute great game. Well recommended if you like your racing games. WWE 2K16, do like my wrestling games. You're going to see a few of them there. Because we've got WWE 2K17 with Brock Lesnar on the front there. I don't know if we get the uh, Gold Bird edition. Whether he's uh, still available in there or whether that was just a download code. Same with this one, WWE 2K18, which should have... Got Seth Rollins on the front, but it should have a Kurt Angle thing in there. Uh, WWE 2K19, which is a shame because this one is sealed. And I don't think you get much in this. This is the million dollar challenge edition though, so... Should get Rey Mysterio and Ronda Rousey apparently. But surely they would have already been in the game. And WWE 2K20. Roman Reigns and the man Becky Lynch on the front. And we haven't got 21 because I don't think they released one, but we've got WWE 2K22. This is the Xbox Series X version because it was a lot cheaper than the Xbox One version. And uh, yeah, you've got Rey Mysterio on the front of this one. All right, then we've got WWE Battlegrounds, which uh, this is meant to be awful. Well, I've not played it yet. We've got 13, or XIII, otherwise known as 13. And this one comes in an absolutely fantastic steel book again. So, look at that. Get some art cards in this as well. Let's just show you a few of them. They're like old school, cool, old school style cards, like trading cards. I just realised the inside has got like all comic book artwork as well. So yeah, that is a really nice steel book to pick up. Last few games now, we've got yesterday's Origins. Yoku's Island Express, which basically is a pinball platforming game. It's quite funny. I've played a bit of that. Yum Yum Cookstar. Still sealed. <laughs> and the last game is Zombie Army 4 Dead War. So yeah, that was all of my 283 physical games I've got here. If there's any you think I need to pick up, let me know down in the comments. I'm always on the lookout for new Xbox One games to add to the collection. If you've seen anything here which you think is like a hidden gem and I should play straight away. Stuff like Rhyme just got on top here. I do like that sort of style artwork. But yeah, if there's anything that's not like one of these big franchises 
AAA games which you think is a good game, what they no one really talks about, let me know down in the comments. If I've got it here, I'll give it a go. If I haven't got it, I'll be on the lookout to buy it. I say always looking to add to the Xbox One. Very, very happy to add whenever I can, or the Series X. Although there doesn't seem to be too many just Series X games on their own. A lot of them are dual ones where you can play them on the Xbox One or the Series X version. And if there's any still books that I'm missing that you think are really, really good looking and I really, really need them in my collection because I'm a sucker when I see them still books. I see them and I'm like, yeah, I need to buy that. Let's go get it. But yeah, other than that, hopefully you've enjoyed this little collection video. And yeah, hopefully next year I'll be showing you 400 games, let's say. That could be my target for next year's one. But uh, yeah, we'll see how that goes. I'll probably try and do one every every New Year's Eve just to show you the end of year review of how many games we've added. So yeah, that is, uh, I think I added 140 this year, so yeah, we're, we're on target if we carry on like that next year to add to, uh, take it up to 400, but yeah. Thank you all for watching. If you're new here and you like this video, I've got a load of Xbox videos on my channel where I pick up a lot of Xbox games you can see them throughout the year. Why not subscribe? Check out my Xbox 360 collection. I'll have the whole thing as one big video soon coming up. It'll probably be about three hours long. So if you've got time to watch that, <laughs> you'll, uh, you'll enjoy that. If not, you can just watch my little ones that I've got going out every, every week at the moment. But yeah, that just leaves me to say thank you all for watching. If you're watching this on the day it comes out, Happy New Year to you all. Hopefully you enjoy tonight. But yeah, thank you all for watching. And as always, I'll catch you in the next one. Keep on gaming, playing that Xbox, getting that gamer score. And I'll catch you in the next one. Bye for now.